Jesus, Son of God. Say that with me. Jesus, Son of God. You need to get this down. God had one son. His name was Jesus. Did you get that? Yes or no? Well, what about this way? What about that way? Wrong way. Ain't happening. God had one son. His name was who? Guys, I mean, instead of arguing with the father giving his son, why don't you accept it? You know what I'm saying? If you were hurting in a bad way and some father said, I'm going to give my son to save your life, you'd thank the daddy for doing it. But so often we argue with the fact that, you know, well, it can't be just that simple. It can't be God just had one son. It is that way. You hearing me, yes or no? You mean all these other people are wrong that believe something else? Yes. How hard is that to get through your head? Two plus two don't equal seven. You don't go arguing with the math folk. Say, Amen. This is your eternal soul. This is saving people from a place called hell. You ought to get it right. Amen. God gave one son, Jesus, to save us. He's the son of God, Jesus Christ. Nobody else ain't. Amen. Say, what about Buddha? What about Mohammed? What about them? What about somebody else? What about them? They ain't Jesus. Do you hear me? Yes or no? And you can't believe something and just throw Jesus in and try to make it piggyback. And okay, now we're good. It's funny how so many other religions want to have Jesus too. No, Jesus said it's me only. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, period. And that's a hard message. And people think, as, wow, you're being, you know, so narrow-minded. Well, I'm glad Jesus said narrow is the what? That's what he said. Yeah, it is narrow, isn't it? But instead of arguing with Daddy, I'm going to thank Daddy for giving his son for me. Amen? Come on. Let's go. Jesus, Son of God. Jesus was born into a world he was not from. Jesus. We're talking about him being the Son of God. Why was the virgin birth necessary? We just had Christmas, and we talk about you know, Mary and the virgin birth and Jesus Christ coming and Joseph not being the father, but, you know, it was the Holy Ghost that was the father. Why was the virgin birth necessary? Because Jesus needed a what? To do what? Fulfill his mission. Now, if you're thinking, well, God could have done it some other way. You know, he could have had, you're probably right, but this is the way he chose. He made us. After his image, in his likeness, after his image. So Jesus needed to become like us to save us. Okay? Do I understand it all? No, I don't understand it all. But this is why Jesus came. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name who? Would you get that down? She didn't call him Fred. She didn't, you know, it was Jesus. Are you, are you hearing me today? Say, you got that nailed? I know I'm hammering on that, ain't I? For who? He shall do what? His people from their what? Guys, Christianity, salvation, is not a club. We're not, we're not building a church so we can have a country club in the middle of Rotunda. No, church and salvation is about being saved from our what? It's about being saved from our sins, guys. We've all sinned and come short of the what? Glory of God. All have sinned. Our righteousness, the Bible says, is as what? Filthy rags, man. Come on. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, say this with me, a virgin shall be with, and shall bring forth a, and they shall call his name, which being interpreted means what? God with us. God is coming through this virgin, the Holy Ghost will come, overshadow Mary, and God is coming to be with us. Emmanuel, Jesus Christ. Okay? So he's the Son of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his what? His only what? His only one. I got one. Did you hear about this new way? I was talking to a guy the other day. I got, can't be on this too long, but talking to the guy the other day. Basically told me the Bible's not true, and, you know, we're just talking. I was just looking at his truck. Oh, my gosh. He said, but when I get pastors, I like to sort of talk to him. What he meant is he likes to fix me. Okay? So he's going to fix me. And uh, anyway, he's like, you know, 
you know, have you really read the writings of Jesus? Mm, well, yeah, well, no, you haven't. You just read the Bible. But no, no the writings of Jesus he's talking about was, came about in like 1958. He said, instead of arguing with me, sir, why don't you go read the real writings of Jesus? He said, would you at least go and read the real writings of Jesus? I said, well, no, I ain't, okay? He said, you seem offended. I said, I'm not offended. I said, you can believe what you want and don't believe and go to hell if you want to. It really doesn't bother me. But I don't, I'm just looking at your truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. No, you can trust this Bible that you have. And this, this scripture right here, I'd let every man be a liar and God be true every time. How many ever been lied to by a man or woman? You ever been lied to? God's not going to lie to you. He loves you. Quit arguing with Daddy about giving his son. Thank Daddy for it. Amen? Say, come on. So he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not what? but have everlasting life. So that's the goal here is to not perish, okay? It's not just about believing something or joining something or being part of a club. The goal here is to get my sins forgiven so I don't perish. And Jesus said, I can do that for you. Amen. I can take care of that for you. So that's why the virgin birth was necessary because only through the virgin birth could God become a man retaining his what? And perfection. God was his father. Jesus is the Son of God. That's who he is. Let's keep looking. Jesus was divinely conceived and born, but he was also human in every sense of the word. We're talking about Jesus this morning. I think we ought to. It's Christmas time, amen? Come on. One of my favorite passages, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of who? God. Because we know Jesus is not just the Son of God, Jesus is very God. Jesus was there in... The beginning. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. So here's Jesus. The Bible says that all things were created by him. All things are held together by Jesus Christ. So here's Jesus. Is God, being in the form of God, he thought it not what? Robbery to be equal with God. Though Jesus is God, it was not something that he had to hold on to. He was willing to lay down and come to this earth and be born. That's crazy thinking. Amen? He was willing to humble himself. He was willing to do this. And the Bible says you and I need to have that same kind of mind. Did you hear that or not? We need to think like that, like he did. He came to this earth. He was made of no reputation. He took upon him the form of a what? He was made in the likeness of who? Men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself even. And he became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every that at the name of who? There it is again. Jesus, he just keeps showing up, right? That's who he is, man. He's the son of God. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should what? Bow. By the way, that word every, it will happen. Every knee shall bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, every tongue, that means every tongue, will confess that Jesus Christ is who? To the glory of God the Father. It's going to happen. Boy, you ought to get in on it before you're forced to do it. Say. And then he says, depart from me, I never knew you. Amen. That's tough. But he's the Son of God. Come on. So he's the Son of God. Virgin born, but he was also human. Jesus came. Now, Jesus is the Son of God. He even said so. All right? You ever met anybody that thought they were God? Say. You ever met people like that? Say, they think they're God? You want to slap them? Can you imagine Jesus comes? He's on the earth. He's 30, you know, 30 years old to 33 years old. And occasionally he would say he was God. wonder how that went over. Let's look at it. He healed this blind man in John 9, and the Pharisees called this blind man and said, Give God the praise. We know this man that you're saying healed you as a sinner. Jesus healed him. We know this man is a sinner. 
And the blind man, who ain't blind no more, he answered and said, whether he's a sinner or not, I don't know that. One thing I know is where I, I was blind, now I what? See. Then said they unto him again, what did he do to thee? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I told you already. They asked him like five times. You didn't hear me then. Why am I going to tell you again? You ain't listening. You're not hearing it again. Will you also be one of his disciples if I tell you again? Ooh. Ooh, they didn't like that. They reviled him when he said that. And they said, thou art his disciples, but we are whose disciples? We're Moses' disciples. If this man were not of God, the blind man speaking, who's not blind anymore, if this man were not of God, he could do nothing. And they answered and said unto him, you are altogether born in sin, and you're going to teach us? Doesn't that sound like religious folk? You're just an old sinner boy. You're going to come teach the, teach the educated religious folk. Get out of here. And they cast him out. I went, thank you. Now Jesus had heard that they cast this fellow out. And when he found him, when Jesus saw him, he said unto him, do you believe on the son of who? Jesus said that. Do you believe on the son of God? He answered and said, who is he, Lord? Who is he, Lord? that I might believe on him. Keep watching. And Jesus said unto him, you've been looking at him. And you've been talking to him. It's me. And he said, Lord, say it with me, I what? And he what? What's the point? Jesus is the Son of God. Virgin born. Human in every way. He himself said he was the Son of God. Jesus said, for judgment I'm coming to this world that they which see not might see. And they which think they see might be blind. Amen? Say, if you want to believe the wrong way, have at it. If that's what you want to do, Jesus said, because you know what, without faith in me, you're not going to be saved, he says. You want to stay blind? That's your choice. Have at it. I came, I really came not for the people that think they can see. I came for the people that know they can't see. Amen. Did that make any sense? Jesus, Son of God. He said he himself he was the Son of God. Chapter 10, another passage. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest. Jesus speaking. Because I said I'm the Son of God. You call me a blasphemer? Because I said I'm the Son of God. Jesus then said, if I don't do the works of my Father, don't believe me. Guys, we ought to use that with our TV preachers we see. Why do we keep believing people who are lying? Are you listening or not? Why are we so gullible just to hear something some man says sometimes? And it's, it's not true, guys. I hate to be ugly. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying so much of, of it is a sham. Quote me. Jesus said, if you find me to be a sham, Jesus speaking, if you find me to be a sham, then don't believe in me. We ought to use that same measuring stick today. Y'all listening or not? So he said, hey, but if I do, but if I do, though you, though you believe me, not me, believe the works. That you might know and believe that the Father is in me. And I in him, therefore they sought again to do what? Kill him. <laughs> they just didn't like him calling himself the son of God. Did you hear me or did I bore you to tears on that point? Okay. So, so, virgin born, every way human. Jesus said himself he's the son of God. I like this part right here. Hang in here with me. Even the devil said he was the son of God. If you don't believe the Bible, and if you don't believe Jesus, and if you don't believe people... In the scriptures who said he was the son of God, why don't you just believe the devil then? How about that? Would you believe the devil? Say. Can we do that? Here's what the Bible says. Jesus came to tempt him. He said, if you be the what? Son of God. And this if ain't like a question. Okay? He knew he was the son of God, and he's using that if you really are. You know how you do that sometimes to people? If you really are. 
command these stones be made bread. Okay? So he did that repeatedly. Okay? Repeatedly. He knew he was a son of God. The devil knows Jesus is the son of God. And said unto him, If you be the Son of God, cast yourself down. For it's written, He shall give His angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time you dash your foot against a stone. So he's just tempting him. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee behind me, what? For it's written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and Him only shalt thou serve. So the devil, and you can find other places in the Scripture, not just here, the devil believed he was the Son of God. The devil leaves him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Back in Matthew 4. Keep looking. The demons, not just the devil believes he's the Son of God, but demons believe he's the Son of God. Look at it. Several stories in the Scripture. Okay? Behold, the demons cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus? Say it with me. Thou Son of God. Look at this part. Demons speaking to Jesus. Are you come here to torment us before the what? What's that mean? Are you come here now to judge us before the final judgment? We know one day you're going to judge us. See, the devil and the demons also believe the Bible. They believe God's Word. Are y'all listening to me or not? Next time you don't believe the Bible, I want you to remember that. Man, shoot. Devil believes more than I do. How about that? Will that kick you in the tail a little bit? Say, come on. Don't you think his children ought to believe at least as much as the devil? Say, you all right? You're like, I can't believe I got up and came to church. He's hollering at me. <laughs> Here we go. Now, devils came out of many crying out and saying, Thou art who? Christ. The son of... So devils, demons, believe that Jesus is Messiah, God's only son, the son of God. They believe that. And he rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew he was who? The anointed one. I don't know if you're learning anything or not. Boy, when you've got Jesus, you have everything. You've got him. Amen? Amen? He's the Son of God. <laughs> the search is over. Isn't that what Peter said? Peter basically said, Jesus, you know, there is nowhere else to go. You're it. Amen? Would you settle that today? Thou believest. Look at what James says. You believe there's one God? Thou doest well. Say that last part with me. The devils also what? And what? Tremble. So, we're talking about Jesus being the Son of God today. You might say, Gary, I knew that before I came here. Well, good, that's okay. Maybe still, though, it's helped you a little bit this morning. Hang in here. Virgin born, every way human. Jesus himself said he was the Son of God. That devil repeatedly said he was the Son of God. Demons believe that he's the Son of God. They know it. Keep looking. Maybe you're still like, well, I don't know. Well, how about, how about the angel Gabriel? Would you trust him today if you don't believe me? How about that? Say. The angel Gabriel. The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, speaking to Mary. The power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the who? Got it? Say. Come on. We're hammering now. The disciples said so. Fishermen, different people that followed him, tax collectors, just, just regular folk. That's who he had followed him, just regular people. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. He began to sink and he cried saying, Lord, save me. Now watch it. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, caught him, said unto him, O thou of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind, what? Ceased. Now watch it. Then they that were in the ship, that's disciples, came and worshipped Jesus, saying, say it with me, of a truth, thou art the who? Do you see it or not? You're in, you're in some quiet company, some serious company here now. You're with the disciples, you're with the demons, you're with the devil, you're with Angel Gabriel. 
You're with Jesus himself and source God the Father himself. You're with the Holy Spirit. All believe that Jesus is the Son of God. If you're not a believer in Christ, isn't it time for you to come to the table and say, come on. That's who he is. Can you imagine people that were crucifying Christ? The centurion soldier there at the cross. Now when the centurion, Roman soldier, who was a person in leadership, had many soldiers under him. Now when the centurion and they which were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, not just him, but others, not just the centurion, but others there, but certainly the centurion, they feared greatly, saying, say it with me, truly this was, say it with me, the Son of God. Got it? Jesus is who? He's the he's Son of God. Simon Peter said so. Here's his lead disciple, guy that's sort of going to be the, in charge here after things, you know, when he's gone. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? That's his favorite way to talk about himself. Jesus really didn't go around saying, I'm the Son of God, I'm the Son of God, I'm the Son of God. He said it a few times, but he liked relating to men and women. So he said, who do, who, do, who do people say I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, some say you're John the Baptist. Some say you're Elias. Others say you're Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Man, there's all kinds of words out there on the street saying who you is. He said unto them, guys, who do you say I am? And that was my, that's my question to you today. Who is Jesus to you? Is he the Son of the living God? Is he the way, the truth, the life? Is he the only way to God the Father? Is he the one that was virgin born? Is he the one who the devils say he's God and, and demons say it and angels say it? Is he that to you? Is he the son of God? Who do you say Jesus is? And Simon Peter piped up and said, say it with me. Thou art the, the son of the living God. Boy, don't, isn't that good? Keep looking. We're almost done. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood, flesh and blood, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven, has revealed this to you. Guys, when you know Jesus is the Son of God, that's the Holy Spirit of the living God that's helping you see that and understand that. I didn't grow up knowing that. But I'm so glad I heard the gospel and I believed in Christ and I put my faith in Christ. Okay? That's what Peter said. You're the Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, well, you didn't get that from flesh and blood. You got that from my Father. And I say unto you, Jesus speaking, you are Peter, and upon this what? Say rock. One more time. One more time. Upon this rock, I will build my church. A lot of people think the rock is like, because Peter, his name is Rock or Little Pebble, they think that Christ built his church on Peter and he was the first pope and all that. It's not, it's not true and it's not scriptural, guys. You think Jesus came to build a church on a man? Are you kidding me? Yes or no? Say. It's crazy. So what does that mean? Upon this rock, upon this rock, I'll build my church. What does that mean? We've been talking about it all morning. You're the Christ. The Son of the living God. That is the rock. Did you hear me say? That's the rock. Build your life on that. Build your church on that. Jesus is the rock. Did you hear me today? Did you get that? Good. Wow. If you got that, you got something. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against Peter. Or the gates of hell shall not prevail against the rock. Did you get that or not? Don't ever forget that. Jesus. You see the font that Roger used? Sort of rocky looking, isn't it? Jesus, Son of God. He's the what? Are we done? He's the rock. He's the promised what? He's the promised Messiah. Now, can you say this loud? Jesus. Say it loud with me. He's the... Of the... 
Did you get that today? We done, buddy? You keep me going, don't you? The gates of hell shall not prevail against any church that believes this. Say that with me. The gates of hell shall not prevail against any church that believes this. We get screwed up in church when we start believing other things, putting our faith in men or the miracles or the this or the offering or the whatever. We just stop and put your faith in Jesus, the Son of the living God. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Okay, you got that? Say, against the church of the living God. It won't prevail because Jesus is the Son of God. Let's praise the Lord this morning. I'm wore out. Amen!